And I'm most excited to be with you, my brother, my sister. This is where we speak truth to power. And of course, when we come right in, we do not criticize. But if we must criticize, we would only just criticize to build and not to destroy. This is the black pot where we keep uh, it real from the news reel. <laughs> Now, the very first thing I want to look at today, my brother, my sister, is on a very, very bad note. But I hope you will forgive me and just come along so that we'll deal with this, my brother, my sister. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Listen, and I am reading this, my brother, my sister, from Peace FM Online. I read 2024 election. If they shoot one NDC member, we will shoot also an NPP member. And this is attributed to the NDC national executive that we are about to talk about right now. Well, listen. Deputy General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Mustafa Gbandi, says President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, Ado's congratulatory message to the party and their candidate, James Yachi Kwesin, after winning the Asi Not By election is needless. According to him, the president deliberately ignored to comment on the various attacks on national executive members of the NDC in his message. Mustafa Gbandi suggests that the president's posture was hypocritical and must publicly condemn the attacks. If he, President Nana Adu Dankwa Akufuado, doesn't condemn the attempt by the government and the NPP to kill the national youth organizer of the NDC, they attempt to kill the national communication officer of the NDC. They attempt to kill the deputy national communication officer of the NDC. Nana Adu didn't see that. He said in an interview with Neat FM's morning show, um, Ghana Muntie. We are well prepared. We will return to them the same gesture if the need arises. If they shoot one NDC member. We will also shoot an MPP member. That's the way to go in 2024. My brother, this is where the country has reached. This is a man who is saying that the way to go in 2024 is to shoot and kill each other because of political power. This is a man who is saying that in 2024, next year, when we go to the polls, we must go with guns so we can shoot and kill each other. It hurts me so much that just a day after Idud Adha, the man speaking here is supposed to be a Muslim. This is what he's saying. We should go to the polls with guns. Shoot and kill each other. Not based on religion. Not based on ethnicity. But based on political affiliations. Such an idiot. Can you believe that? You see why the Jehovah's Witnesses would not want to go to war? Because the principle is that. They will never go to war because they do not know who is on the other side of the fence. It might be their own witnesses, fellows. It might be their own Jehovah's Witness fellows that they are fighting and killing. After all, they do not have a label on their foreheads that show that this is a Jehovah's Witness or this is an enemy or that is this. This man says, 
that in 2024, the two political parties, NDC and NPP, they should go to the polls with guns. They should shoot each other based on their political affiliations. It doesn't matter if you're a Muslim. They don't care. Politics is the only poison in our country that can be given to a brother or sister without thinking about it as long as they belong to the other political divide. Can somebody come along with me? This is what this idiot is saying. Why don't you bring your wife and children? Line them up and let them shoot them one after the other. Then we can say that you truly mean your words. When they are shooting and killing each other, the people who suffer are people from the Zongo who have been impoverished and made hungry. Their only means of survival is to go to the gym and build their muscles to go and protect poor belly politicians. It hurts me so much. A day after Eid al-Adha, you went to the mosque. They were preaching peace and were preaching a lot of love. Today, you come out because of political power. You should take guns. I think that the national security needs to pick up this guy. Quickly. National security needs to pick up this guy. This is not a Ghanaian. This guy is not worth to be a citizen of the earth. If you truly are strong and you love the sound of the gun, please, Afghanistan is waiting for you. If you truly love to shoot and kill, please leave this country and go to the countries that have that as their trademark. Yemen is waiting for you. These are the people who believe in jihad. Bomb aeroplanes and kill everybody on the plane. It doesn't matter whether they are Muslims or Christians or Hindus. Such utterances must not go unchecked. If this guy here truly said this, Mahama should be the first person to come and condemn this madness. Shoot and kill who? Shoot and kill who? These are the people who run from one juju man to the other. And they are deceived that when they wear some bansiri and you shoot them, they will not die. Yet, when you go to the mortuary, they are the first people whose bodies are pulled out with their pot bellies hanging up there. We shall not shoot anybody in the election. Nana Kufuado is an arrogant man. Very terrible. In fact, he is a president with very little common sense. Look at the last election. Six people died. Nothing happened. The other day, an NDC member came out and asked people to meet violence on each other. He was arrested. What happened to the guy? Canada Japan the other day said that, oh, people should pick up sticks and weapons and beat up Evers wherever they find them. What happened to him? Today he wants to run for president. And like idiots, we are all expected to go and vote for this guy. What's wrong with that? They say his name is Mustafa Bande. Chief Imam should even be calling him to book. Chief Imam should be calling him and telling him that, listen, what you are doing does not represent Islam. Find another religion that supports your foolish violence. What the hell? Because of political power, we should shoot and kill each other. Meanwhile, these are the people whose gutters are very dirty in their areas. They don't clean that. They don't have the energy to clean their environment. They are sick every now and then. People are dying in the Zongos because of hunger. People's environments are so dirty and stinking. You don't have the energy to clean the areas, but you have the energy to shoot and kill each other because you were born out of violence. If you sow a violent seed, you shall reap a bloody crop. I leave it here. Another thing I want to look at, and I want to do that very quickly. Mm -mm -mm. It's sad. But it says, and this one too is coming from Ghana Web. It says 1.7. Three billion debt breaks Akufu Addo's promise to keep lights on. Well, this is a president who doesn't have the common decency of keeping his promise. 
111 hospitals in limbo. This is a man who preaches virtues and practices vices. His place is the hell. And Satan will sodomize him night and day. This is a very useless president. And I say this from the bottom of my heart. My brother, schools under trees. Children are eating food in the school. That is only meant for animals, pigs. The average Ghanaian has lost the common sense of patriotism all because of this dirty government in power. Yet he has the guts to want to build a house for God. Ah, my God have mercy. In fact, if we had a way of choosing which country we belong to at birth, because of people like Nana Kufuado, nobody would like to belong to Ghana. The other day I said it, and many were those who did not want to support that. God does not create people like Nana Kufuado. It's Satan who created him. He is the right hand general of Satan. In fact, in hell, he will sit on the right hand side of Satan just as Jesus sits on the right hand side of God. To God be the glory. <laughs> Eric Mawena Egberta is in the house. He's wearing his beautiful uh, African print. Oh my God, 